that we use to, you know, put it together and why. But first off, I do have to add that traps are not prey specific and uh, make sure that you follow all local game laws and be safe with it and stuff. But that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get down and see how it's put together. All right, primitive traps. Just using what you got out in the woods throw it together. You can make your own cordage. Natural cordage is going to take a lot of time. If you got paracord, you can use that. But using sticks and notches and knots to put together a primitive trap to particularly catch small game. Uh, this is a good example of a small game trap. Not really a large game trap. Uh, later on I'll be showing some of those. But uh, We've got two pieces of uh, wood here, two sticks that are stabbing it through the ground and they're crisscrossed. Now I notched them in so that they fit together. This would be a lot easier if you found a fork and just, you know, put a fork in the ground and did the same thing. But you can't always find a good fork, you know, in a tree to use for something like this right here. So this is another method that does work and it can work, it, it works well. All right, we've got an engine, which is a tree laid over, attached to a trigger stick right here. And that trigger stick is wedging this bait stick against this other stick on the ground here. Got the cordage coming down from that. I have a fisherman's knot tying it onto the actual engine. Coming down, it's a clove hitch attached to the uh, trigger stick. And then the bait stick doesn't have anything attached to it at all. I do want to add that this is one complete strand of cordage. It's not divided in two different sections. It's a lot stronger if you keep it in one section. Now, this being the bait stick and stuff like that, if a rabbit or whatever, and this being a game trail right here, comes along and tries to eat a little bit of, you know, and rabbit comes along or something like that right there and triggers it, there you go. You can see, it's attached and it's got it good. Now, something to remember. Number one, when doing something like this right here, you want the cord to tie up on the tree. So, it, James, if you'll switch this around so it can follow this over here. The prey is way off the ground not able to get any true fitting, even up against the tree, it's not able to get any true fitting onto the ground. And you definitely want that. Also, something else to take into consideration is that, especially in a survival situation, the first day you're going to have a lot more energy than the second and third. So, using primitive traps like this right here, it's best to actually get those the first day and set a whole bunch of them around you better to do it the first day than the second day, because the second day, well, you're going to be a lot hungrier, you're going to be a lot tired, or a lot more tired and stuff, so uh, setting traps up like this right here, 20 or 30 of them around you, it's really easy to throw together, and uh, this is just one out of many that you can throw together, and that way the second day you just, you know, checking your traps, gathering up your firewood, and things like that. So this is definitely a first day thing. But nevertheless, though, let me go ahead and pull this out of the ground, and I'll show you how it's constructed together. All right. So as you see, we've got the trigger stick here, and it's attached to the engine. Now, the trigger stick comes down, and it wedges in between this fork. Now, the reason why that I'm doing this video about this fork right here is that, like I said earlier, you can't always find a fork 
you know, a natural fork in a tree that you can use for something like this right here. And so finding two sticks to put them together is a lot easier. But you definitely want some notches. And notches that I used on this right here would just be a, a well, a square notch. But I put it on an angle so that they fit together nice and tight. And then, of course, I started with a clove hitch on one side. I did a clove hitch, wrapped it around, and then to finish it off, I did a half hitch and then a box knot. So it's really simple. My stake point down here, and then, of course, I just flattened this off and rounded off for hammering it in. This piece right here that goes to the trigger stick, or from the trigger stick to the, this stick right here, the wedge stick, This fits up underneath this little knot right here. Now, if you can't find one that you know works good with a knot there, you can always put a number seven notch in there. It works just as good. But I found one that has that, so I went ahead and used it. This right here is just have a chisel point coming to it. And then the other side is just flat. The other side wedges up against the uh, trigger stick. There's no notches or anything that needs to be done on that side. So that's it. That's it. all she wrote with uh, how to throw this trap together. And you can set it up, carve it out, and everything less than 10 minutes. In fact, less than 5 minutes. Uh, James, how, how long did it actually take us? Probably 3 or 4. 3 or 4 minutes. It doesn't take very long at all to get it set and uh, or carved out and everything, pieced together and then set. Well, I've said a lot here, and I haven't really given my nephew a chance to say anything, and he's experienced since this, so, you know, do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, make sure you have a fresh, active game trail that's small game, and place your traps in the center of the game trail to have a better chance of catching anything, and check it no more than two hours to make sure you have something still alive or dead, fresh. Yeah, at least a fresh kill, you know, you don't want it to sit there. It was very good, very good. And those are good points to add. You definitely want to put it in the middle of the game trail, and the reason why is because, well, it's simple. That animal may, let's say it's a rabbit, it may walk past there a thousand times before it finally gets intrigued by the bait. But if you put it right in the middle of it, you've got a better chance of it getting, you know, tempted to, you know, get that bait. Also got to make sure that it is a fresh game trail. If you see tracks and stuff, that's great and wonderful, but it may not have been traveled for the last three weeks, you know? So make sure that it's fresh tracks and it's of the type of game that you want because you don't want a deer coming through there and you got a small game trap. It's going to set off your trap and it's going to just ruin your day. So, you know, make sure that it is, in fact, a game trail for a small game and you've got fresh tracks. Something that maybe you've seen early in the morning, you know, something like that, that something's traveled just last night. you got a better chance of getting something. And also, he's absolutely right. Every two hours, no more. Because you don't want it to lay there dead for too long. It'd, ru it'd be ruined. So, check it every two hours. It might still be alive. And if it is dead, it didn't die too long ago, so... That's going to be it for today as part of the trap and everything. But before I go, there's a couple of shout-outs that I want to give. First one is going to be a really good friend of mine. We've been friends for years. Martin Smith, you can find him on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description, and he also has a site. If you ever heard of PHPBB software, form software, he is the guy to go to. He's impressive. He creates his own extensions for it his own add-ons for it and he's the only guy that you can go and get these you know specific ones from he has it set up it's free download and everything he's an awesome guy he help you out you know let you know what you need and stuff like that so I'll leave a link in the description for both the site and for the YouTube uh, channel and uh, like I said check him out and show him some love Next shout out that I'm going to be giving out is to Caribou Country Outdoors. Awesome channel. Definitely check him out. He knows what he's doing. He, he has a lot of knowledge and a lot of skill. He's fun to watch and he cares about people. So definitely check him out.
The next shout out is going to be is Budget Outdoors and Survival. Awesome guy, awesome videos, check him out. Video would be Lily in the Wild. I love her channel, I love her videos, I just can't get enough of them. So definitely check her out as well. Another one is going to be Lewis Outdoors. Awesome channel. He knows what he's doing. I love watching these stuff. So definitely check him out as well. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. If you're new, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one.